what I saw was just a, a war scene. It, it was something like I'd seen out of the movies. I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Carnage and chaos. That's how a Capitol Police officer described the attack on the U.S. Capitol January 6, 2021. For the first time, the nation heard new chilling testimony and video from that day as committee members share their findings from a months long investigation. So this was just the first of several public hearings that will uncover what really happened on January 6 and the days leading up to the attack. We know Georgia is expected to play a big role in the hearings moving forward. Both Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and Gabriel Sterling, the chief operating officer in the office, were subpoenaed by House members. A source from the Secretary of State's office tells 11 Alive the two are expected to give testimony either on June 20th or 21st. Last night was the first of a series of public hearings by the House Select Committee investigating the insurrection. One of the people that you just saw there testifying was UJ alum Caroline Edwards. She's a Capitol Police officer who was there on the front lines when all of this unfolded. She recounted how she was overrun by the crowd and knocked unconscious as rioters stormed the Capitol. I was called a lot of things on January 6, 2021 and the days thereafter. I was called Nancy Pelosi's dog, called incompetent, called a hero, and a villain. I was called a traitor to my country, my oath, and my constitution. In actuality, I was none of those things. More Georgians are being prosecuted for their role on January 6th. A former Georgia police officer just learned his sentence. The FBI says that Michael Dautry was in the crowd that day. They say he bragged about tearing down fencing around the Capitol. Dautry was sentenced to home detention, probation, $500 restitution and community service. This is just the beginning here of a lot of jaw dropping details to hear more. You can head to 11 alive.com. You can also get those updates around the clock as we learn more about the insurrection.